In this movie we're going to look at attributes. Attributes are data fields that can be stored within products and within cables. They're very useful objects because they can be used to get important information into your project and also get important information out of your project. So let's begin by dragging in a product and we can see in the properties grid on the right hand side that there is a list of default attribute names all of whose values are blank. We can set any value that we want for any attribute simply by clicking on the value field and typing in the value that we want. So in this case this amplifier might be in the rack room. Now attribute values are stored within the product record so if I go back to my project dashboard to the product grid I can see that there is the product record and over here is the attribute value that I've just set in the drawing view. I can also use the products view to set attribute values. So if I click on this location field I can say that this particular product is in rack 1. If I then go back to the drawing, click on the product, you can see that the location attribute has been set as well. So these are a collection of default attribute names but it is possible to customize that list so that you can have any default attribute placeholders that you want and you can do that through the tools menu in the personalization area. If I go to the settings tab we can see two lists. One is a list of default attribute names for products and the other is default attribute names for cables and if I want to change this list I can simply click in the list box and for instance type in a new value. I want to have a spec ref attribute added to all of my products. So now when I drag in a new product over here in the properties grid we can now see that there is a spec ref attribute name. The pre-existing product does not yet have that spec ref attribute name. That's because we need to resynchronize existing products against our new attribute values. So here in the edit menu I can choose update attribute values, select that product again and now it too has a specref attribute placeholder. So let's make some copies of these products. So we now have four products and if I select all four of those I can set the same attribute value across the entire selection. So if I just type in that uh, all of these products are part of the audio system, I can also go back to the product grid. Now it's listing the four products and they are all within the audio system. That's all good stuff. So going back now, if we take a look at any of these products, we'll see that uh, the attributes that we've set are what I refer to as project specific attributes. So these attribute values will change on a project by project basis and a product instance by instance basis. For instance, this amplifier might be in rack 1, but these two amplifiers in the same project might be in a location called rack 2. There are an other, another type of attribute, and those are what I refer to as product specific attributes. Things like cost price and sale price. So for these the cost price and sale price are likely to be the same whenever I use that particular product. So rather than entering in those attribute values every time I use the product it would be a great idea if I had one place where I could store these important product specific attribute values. If we go back to the personalization area in the product attributes tab this is the place where we create what is known as the product attribute spreadsheet and it's a place where we can store these important product specific attributes. To generate the spreadsheet click on the regenerate button and once that has completed we can view the data source this opens up Excel and you can see the spreadsheet that we now have has got a tab for each of the manufacturers that I have installed on my system. It has a column for each of the attribute names that we want to manage and it has a row for each product. So let's scroll down until we find the product that we've uh, been using and I can put in some values. So let's say my cost price is uh, 23.95 
and my sale price is 34.99. Important to remember to save this spreadsheet. And now when we go back to Stardraw Design 7 and again update the attribute values, this is something that you need to do uh, if you have pre-existing products in your project after you've made changes to your product attribute spreadsheet. But now you can see that this product has a cost price and sale price as defined in the spreadsheet as have all of the others and whenever I bring in a new product this product also has the attribute values that were defined in that spreadsheet. So let's take a look at how we can use attributes to get important information out of a project. I just go over here and open up a sample project this is our project dashboard and you can see that we have a number of drawings in this project one of which is a completed block schematic if I click on any of the products in this block schematic you'll see that the majority of these attributes have been populated with values so how do we use these well internally within Stardraw Design 7 you can of course generate reports using the fully integrated reporting engine Samples of report would include, for example, the cost detail report. And let's just zoom in so we can see that a little bit better. With detail reports, you get a line for each individual product. And as this is the cost price, we get a total at the bottom. We can then look at, for example, the price summary report. And summary reports give us a total for each product of the same type, i.e. the same model number again now giving us a new price total and we can also provide reports that summarize information by other attributes so this can summarize price ordered by room so here we have products grouped into the auditorium into the control room uh, each room has its own subtotal there we have the rack room and the grand total at the bottom. Another way to get information out of your project is to use the products grid and from here we can export a spreadsheet and this spreadsheet contains all of the attribute information for all of the products. So let's do that now to the desktop, minimize Stardraw Design 7 and from this spreadsheet you can see all of that attribute information across all of the products output into a spreadsheet and from that you can do absolutely anything that you want with the data. So that's a brief overview of how to work with attributes within products within Stardraw Design 7.